In 2009, the grand prize of the French Academy of Science in Informatics was awarded to Jean-Claude Lepri for his outstanding contribution to research in the field of dependable computing, which earned him international recognition. The dependability of a computing system is its ability to deliver justifiable, trustworthy service. That is, to avoid faults that are too frequent or too serious. Jean-Claude Lepri joined the French National Centre for Scientific Research, CNRS, in 1973, at the newly created LAS in Toulouse, he prepared a doctoral thesis on the subject of dependable computing. I got bitten by the research bug, as it were. It was probably a lot to do with the enthusiasm generated by Jean Lagasse, the founder of LAS. At the time, LAS was a very exciting place to be. Well, I defended my doctoral thesis in June 1975, and in October 1975, the laboratory directors put me in charge of a small group of people I had got interested in dependable computing, which later became the TSF Group for Dependable Computing and Fault Tolerance. Heading a team of young researchers, Jean-Claude Lepri proposed a formal and innovative approach to dependable computing. He helped formulate the basic concepts and the associated terminology, which the international scientific community adopted. He was soon widely recognized as a leader in the field. I was already convinced that dependable computing was what we call a system problem, which means that treating one part was not enough. It would be too ambitious to claim to treat every aspect but it is still necessary to cover enough areas to address the system aspect, which we can illustrate by the variety of fault sources in a computing system. Hardware failures, software errors, human interface errors, configuration errors, not forgetting what is now becoming more and more important, malicious attacks. Of course, one should not consider the whole set of scientific contributions as being just my own personal contributions. There is an interaction with the other researchers in the group who have also contributed. Jean-Claude Lepri maintained close links with industry and was fully aware of its concerns. In 1992, he set up LIS, a laboratory associating the academic world and industry. Many of his partnerships have influenced the industrial approach to the dependability of critical systems. The relationship with industry is an exchange, in that working in a vacuum would be unrealistic. Of course, you have to keep in touch with what is going on in the outside world. Research problematics are driven by problems facing industry, while trying, of course, to have a long-term view and not just that of the next three to six months or the upcoming project. This is something that has certainly not slowed down and is very much an ongoing experience. Jean-Claude Lepri carried out most of his international responsibilities within IFIP. He organized numerous conferences. He was director of LAS from 1997 to 2002, and from 2006 to 2009, he led the RESIST network of excellence in Europe, which addressed the resilience issues raised by the arrival of ubiquitous computing systems. These will be very big systems that will practically all be interconnected. The telephone, our computers, huge server farms that house objects like Google, sensor networks that will gather information in every act of our lives. So dependability will have to measure up to this dependence. What do we observe? On the emerging ubiquitous systems in real terms, we have lost several orders of magnitude in dependability due to their complexity and structure. That was the aim of RESIST, to give ubiquitous systems their own specific dependability. Ubiquitous systems are characterized by constant change, so we define resilient computing as being the persistence of dependability in the face of changes, whether they be functional, technological or environmental. While fighting a lymphoma for several years, working right up to the end, Jean-Claude Lepri continued to influence the international scientific community. He died on the 17th of October 2010 
at the age of 65. Jean-Claude Lepri was above all a researcher of caliber, a pioneer and a visionary. He was also a demanding humanist who loved life and was immensely proud of belonging to the CNRS. The best words you could associate with the work and life of a researcher are academic freedom. That is the freedom to choose one scientific path in total intellectual independence. Nobody ordered me to study dependable computing. Academic freedom means having no boss. It's also proved by the history of science that it is the only framework that gives results that benefit society as a whole. The CNRS opened its doors to me in 1973, and I'm extremely grateful that they allowed me to map out my own scientific career. The CNRS has sometimes been treated roughly in the course of its history. It was hit quite hard recently. But I hope, for all my young colleagues, that it will remain this haven of intellectual independence.